Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am filming the Gimme More Lip Swatch video. This is the most awesome kit I've ever gotten before. It's from Sephora. It's $70, which seems pricey, but you get 17 kind of deluxe sample, I don't even want to call them deluxe sample sizes, like 17 trial sizes of lip products and you get reds, nudes, berries, and pinks from all kinds of different brands, from lip balms to liquid lipsticks to lipsticks. Uh, there's a lip pencil in there. And if you're the kind of person who either can wear every color or you're the kind of person who wants to wear every color, this is an awesome way to try it out because there's a lot of products in here that I would have never bought on their own, but now I actually may go out and buy them. So it's a really good way to kind of get an idea of it. And on top of that, how often do you go through a lip product? So I'm going to go ahead and jump in it. I'm going to show you all the colors on my lips and just kind of give you uh, a couple second review on what I think of them. This is the Too Faced Look Creme Lipstick in the shade Naked Dolly. Uh, this is how much product you get. So it's a fair amount of product. It is a little bit lighter of a color than I would normally wear, so I'd probably put a lip liner on with it. Um, and I don't know how long wearing it is either because it is so kind of glossy, I guess, and a little bit creamy. Um, but it is a really nice color, and the packaging is just so cute. So here we have a Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Speak Your Mind. It's one of their Moxie lipsticks. Again, it is a little bit lighter than a color I would normally wear. I'd probably put a lip liner on with it. It's kind of a peachy nude, but it is really, really pretty, and you do get a fair amount of product as well. This is my first ever Laura Mercier product. It is one of their Lip Glacés in the shade Blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer running through it, but nothing that I can really see on my lips a lot because I hate shimmer and glosses. It's got a nice vanilla scent, and it's a pretty fair-sized gloss as well. So here we have the Stila Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. Uh, again, this is something that I would never really pick up if I just saw it at, say, Sephora, because it looks really light, but I really like the way it looks on my lips. It's in the shade Nude, and I actually wore this out the other night, and it stayed on my lips for a good while. Now this is the Makeup Forever Waterproof Lip Liner, and this is something I would have never looked at because it's probably like $28, I have no idea. Um, and it doesn't really look like much, but I love it. I don't know what it is, and it is so long wearing. It, it, it doesn't come off. It says it's waterproof, and it seems like it is waterproof. It's in the shade 3C, and I don't know, I just, I like it on its own. I wore it with that Stila lip thing over it the other day and I wore it out and it stayed on forever so this is something I would consider getting in full size for sure. So this is something I would never purchase in full size. I'm not sure about the other ones. This is Posy Bomb by Benefit and it really has no color. My lips do have a little bit of color them, to them right now because I was rubbing them to get uh, the lipsticks off, that waterproof makeup for everything even with a makeup wipe. But um, yeah, it smells really florally and I don't mind floral scents, but on my lips, I really hate that and it's really, really strongly perfumed and look at the amount of product they give you. Like I've used it like two or three times, but like, come on guys. You wasted your time even making the package for this. <laughs> Here we have the Tarte, uh, what is this, Power Pigment in the shade Flush. And this actually broke on me when I filmed the video the first time. There was a little bit of a point to it. It's no longer there. Mm, it also looks a little bit more red than it does pink to me. I guess it's kind of like a pinky red. Mm, I don't know that this is something I would purchase. I do like the color now that I'm looking at it on camera. But the way it feels, it's got a minty feeling, but it's really, really slippery, and it kind of was messy and patchy putting it on. Um, and I like a lot of other lip things more than I like this one, but it is a nice color. Tell me this is not the prettiest color. This is the Too Faced Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Melted Fuchsia. Oh my god, it is gorgeous. But the LA Girl lip paints, I think, are just as good. So if you're going to go down that route, you can get like four LA Girl lip paints for the price of one of these. But that being said, I am super happy I got a sample of this. And I think that sample size is probably half the size of a regular size one, if that makes sense. So it is a great deal, and like with a liquid lipstick, there's so much product in there that you're just not gonna run through it very fast unless you're wearing it like every day. This isn't really an everyday color for me, but oh, it's beautiful. Excuse my cat giving herself a bath. You have no shame, Rue. No shame. <laughs> uh, this is another product I was super excited to try. It is one of the Bite Beauty lipsticks in the shade Palomino. And I've seen Emily Noel uh, talk about this a bunch. And it's a gorgeous shade on her. But I do like it on me too. Um, and Bite Beauty lipsticks. 
Relax. Bite Beauty lipsticks uh, are made of food grade product, which is nice because I heard some kind of scientific fact. I have no idea how much truth there is to it. But uh, women in their lifespan eat like a couple pounds of lipstick. So if you're gonna eat it, it might as well be food grade and look great while you're eating it. On to the berries. Uh, I have the Sugar Berry Fresh Lip Balm, and this is in the shade. Uh, oh, it's in the shade Berry. <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Um, like I said, my lips are a little bit colored from the pink section, but it does have a little bit of a tint to it. You can see it right there. Be careful because, like, I think I might have broken mine a little bit. I think this happened with my last sugar one. They're very, very delicate, but you do get a good bit of product, but I find a, a lot does come out on your lips too, so just be careful when you're applying it. Here we have the Tarte Lip Surgeon, similar to the other one that I showed you, the other Tarte product, but this one is much more sheer. Oddly enough, I swatched it on my hand there uh, to kind of give you a color, but it, it's more buildable on your lips than it is on your hand, if that makes sense. It's in the shade Moody. Um, I do like it, but for these kind of dark colors, I'd rather go matte or more full color than something sheer. So it's not that it's not a good product, it's just not something I would typically gravitate towards. Buxom lip gloss or lipstick, I've never used a bu Buxom product ever, I don't think, in the shade Menace. It's like a deep berry, you know, typical fall winter kind of color. Um, come on, light, work with me here. Not looking for a light show, just do your job. Uh, there is a little bit of shimmer running through this, but you don't see it on the lips and you do get, oh, it's like a horror movie in here. You do get a good bit of product. So it is a really pretty color. So vampy. This is the Black Dahlia Lip Tar from OCC and it comes with a little lip brush, which you need it because it can get super messy in application. Um, I tried to leave this one for a couple minutes because doesn't seem like it gets matte very fast. I gave it its day in court. I've been waiting a couple minutes and it should go matte like pretty much immediately if you ask me. The great thing is, first of all, they're so full color and beautiful and blah, 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 but you'll never run out of this. Like I got a little OCC lip tar set last Christmas and I haven't really been using it that much, honestly, but, but if I was, I still would have tons. Here we have the Sephora Rouge Infusion in the shade red essence this is a product i would never have picked up for some reason i don't gravitate towards these sephora brand products but it is such a pretty color if you're afraid of reds or kind of deeper reds this is a great start it's like a really liquidy consistency when you first put it on your lips but it dries down matte and it smells like when you're putting on your lips, like it smells like raspberries, like legit fresh raspberries. And it kind of feels like you're putting literally raspberry juice on your lips because it's so liquidy and sweet. However, it does say it's a 10 hour, 10 hour lip ink. That is 100% false. Um, I wore it about a week ago when I went to get my hair done and I did find it wore a little bit. I was kind of drinking when I was there and it did wear a little bit but I love it. It is such a pretty color and I will look into the other shades for this one because Sephora brand products are priced pretty nicely. So here we have my second ever Laura Mercier product. Um, this is a lipstick in the shade Red Amour. Only problem with this is it's like spring loaded and pops off um, but otherwise the lipstick is really pretty and you do get a fair amount of product. I'm sure mine is just defective. Obviously they don't all have like spring loaded caps, uh, but it is annoying because red lipstick in a purse is a mess, but it is a pretty, pretty nice kind of brick red color. Hourglass, a brand I would have never tried before this because I ain't got the budget for that. This is their kind of like a liquid lipstick, I guess, in the shade Icon. So pretty. My friend had this sample too, and she said it lasts so long. It does feel slightly sticky, but it's a beautiful color and someday I will branch out and get some Hourglass products because this is beautiful. Here is probably one of my favorite things. My, we'll say, we'll put this in the top three of the all the products that came in this kit. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. It's the perfect red. It dries down matte almost immediately. Super long wearing. I will definitely be picking up one of these in full size. I think there's a purple one called Koi that I had my eye on. Um, and this has kind of confirmed my suspicions that it is beautiful. It is so, so pretty. Um, Overall, thoughts on this kit, 
totally worth it. It was $70. I did get it during the VIP sale, so I think it was like 50 something. Um, but I mean, like, look at all the lip products you get. Like, they're much better than a sample size. There's some really amazing products, and it's kind of opened my eyes to things that I would have never purchased. Um, so I'm really, really happy with it. The only thing I don't really like is that Posey Balm can't be bothered with it but otherwise everything else I can at least make use out of and I got to try some new colors some new brands new finishes um, so that's super exciting so if you're a makeup junkie like me or if you're just getting into makeup this is a nice way to kind of test out some some different products and yes I am wearing a faux fur vest today in case you're wondering I couldn't pass it up I love me a faux fur vest I never know where to wear it because I don't know I feel like silly but it's just so beautiful so I'm gonna wear it for you guys uh, thank you so much for watching if you pick this up let me know or if you're gonna pick it up or what did you like in it what didn't you like let me know let's get chatting down below if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram and Twitter that's at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye bye